If you're looking for gas prices, you can always find the current ones at Newstalk1090.com. I knew I had a problem, but I didn't know what to do about it. I tried counting calories, I took pills, eating and eating, and then more eating. I really wanted to stop, but nothing could make me stop. At one point, it was so bad that I just felt like giving up. I felt so alone. Like nobody else could possibly understand. We understand. We're Overeaters Anonymous, and we have helped thousands of people just like you. People who want to stop their compulsive eating and start living a healthy, rewarding life. Overeaters Anonymous, help me get my life back. Now I eat in a way that's healthy and good for me. I never realized what I was missing out on. With OA, I am living again and loving it. Start living the life you deserve with help from Overeaters Anonymous. Find us on the web at OA.org. If you even think you may be in danger of foreclosure, call the National Foundation for Credit Counseling today at 866-687-6322 or visit MortgageHelpNow.org. That's 866-687-6322 or visit MortgageHelpNow.org. This has been a public service from the NFCC. Betsy, look at these sweaters. They look amazing on our girls. Maybe. Come on, what's wrong? Suzanne, I have no business being in the store. I should not be shopping. Things are really tight. We're behind on our mortgage. Listen, Bill and I had the same problem, and we got some really great counseling, and it was free. I'm going to email you the information. If you even think you may be in danger of foreclosure, call the National Foundation for Credit Counseling today at 866-687-6322 or visit mortgagehelpnow.org. Public service from the NFCC. Here's your official News Talk 1090 WKBZ weather. For today, mostly cloudy skies, high of 43 and winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Snow showers early with a chance of lingering snow later tonight, low at 29. Really not expecting any accumulation. For tomorrow, abundant sunshine, lots of it, highs around 40. And we're going to have a mixture of precipitation for the weekend with rain for Saturday, rain or snow for Sunday, and as it turns colder on Monday, we could see just snow. News Talk 1090 WKBZ, the talk of Muskegon. Uh, deep-throated uh, John Van White voice, so uh, um, you got to clear that up, uh, you know, quickly like you did. Right. It sounded exactly. like uh, maybe uh, there'd been a little castration or something going on <laughs> overnight, but right. we are back. Yeah, John is out this week, and or today, and uh, but uh, we have a full program in line for you uh, this morning. Um, uh, coming up, we've got uh, Matt from the Lumberjacks with our uh, weekly Lumberjacks update. So the voice of the Lumberjacks is coming in to join us this morning. And uh, Sean Lawton, the choir director from Mona Shores High School Choir Program. Um, of course, the singing Christmas tree starts tonight and runs uh, through Saturday. And he's going to come in and talk to us about uh, about the famous uh 
singing Christmas Tree. Well, not just famous. It, it's spectacular it thing, it, Christmas Tree. And, and it's only, uh, what I believe, four shows over three nights. Right. So uh, you've got to, as soon as, the, uh, as soon as you're done listening to this show... You don't want to cut well, out can, before the end of the show. No, but you as can soon listen as you're done, and dial at the same time. But you want to, you want to consider getting tickets because yeah. uh, I know tickets are going to go fast. They have in the past. Yeah, well, a lot of sold tickets already. So yeah. if you want to get down and see the show down at the front, you're going to want to um, get online and, and get your tickets quickly. But uh, Sean's going to come in and talk to us about the singing Christmas tree this morning. So um, we've got uh, we've got that going on. So it should be a full show. Well, one would hope, because and, uh, a dead, uh, dead time on a radio show is uh, is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> it, it kind of is. <laughs> we'll avoid and that. And you, you've got something going on this afternoon. Um, well, okay, yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, well, as you know, and as I've mentioned... Uh, Mr. I on Muskegon, and uh, never mind. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I have a very busy life. I wasn't sure where you were going on that. But yes, uh, it, it is Thursday. Well, it, it's not normally the case uh, for the last uh, week and a half now, because there haven't been county commission meetings. Uh, the five meetings that they had... Uh, in November, must have tuckered them out, and they haven't had a, a meeting up in the now almost uh, well over a week and a half. But the uh, the county commission begins their December uh, meetings uh, today at three thirty, and uh, they don't really have a big agenda today. Only three items for consideration, which is what they call the the uh, well, the items that they end up voting on. But the one just caught my attention, which is something that they've been doing for years. Uh, it 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 bothers me because the the first item for consideration is an administration request. Administration would mean coming from the county administrator Bonnie Hammersley, and it says approve accounts payable, which typically is a uh, four million dollars or so. And it's a it's a standard. Uh, in this case, it looks like it's uh, uh, two point eight million dollars. But it, right on the agenda, it says already distributed. So in other words, they've already spent the money, they've already done what they're supposed to do, and now we're approving it. In the real world, you look at what you're going to spend before you approve it. Mm -hmm. And it just seems to me that we, we're spending almost a half million dollars in, in uh, uh, pay and compensation, uh, retirement, and, and the rest of the benefits to our 11 county commissioners. And it just seems to me that they ought to really be looking through the accounts payable, be it two million, three million, four million dollars, uh, before they approve it. Uh, it's just been policy that they do it afterwards. It's I don't know. It just wouldn't happen in the real world. I'd really like to see our county commissioners act like it is real money, mm -hmm. as opposed to acting like it's other people's money and who cares. Well, and I can see uh, there, there's probably certain items that can be just paid for in advance and, and approved post certain items that have been previously approved like payroll like i mean if you have an established benefit of of insurance cost that this is your poli this is how much it costs you per employee per month um and that doesn't change i could probably see you know, okay, okay. Would you, it's part would, of the budget. It's part of the budget. But it's wouldn't been, it then be very easy to approve it in advance? You know, this is not rocket point. science Yeah, here. that's true. Yeah, good you point. Know, matter of fact, those are the things I, I can appreciate in an odd circumstance that, oops, we had to do something. Right. This is just a, a normal right. uh, matter of, of running yeah. business. And I don't want to make a big deal about it, but yeah. but they are having their meetings. Uh, uh, they, they're only going to, I believe, this, uh, this month of December, they're only going to have five meetings again. Uh, uh, come a year from now, after the next election, uh, they will uh, reset their compensation, mm -hmm. which, as I said, in the past budget, it's almost $500,000 in pay and uh, uh, insurance benefits. They get retirement pension benefits, and then they get retirement uh, health care benefits lifetime. It just seems to me that uh, when they're meeting five, six, uh, occasionally seven times in a month, uh, that, that they ought to be 
looking at these things and putting the time in in advance. That's just uh, my, you know, I'm I'm the uh, the big mouth over there who who would like to see some changes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to give up on that though. No, I'll be there. Absolutely I'll not. be there at uh, at three thirty. I'll be You're... here actually at two o'clock at Carmen's where I always go uh, when there is a county commission meeting from two to three fifteen. Carmen's Cafe right in downtown Muskegon, and I meet with anyone who's interested in talking about either today's county commission meetings or any of the, the local politics, be it uh, uh, Fruitport Township or the City of Muskegon, mm-hmm. uh, any of that stuff. Well, you're the eye on Muskegon. I am. Well, uh, you know, I, I was having – I'll tell you something. This this is – I'm not sure it's, – it's, it's, it's complimentary to anybody. I was having a discussion with some folks about uh, my position. I'm a conservative. I'm, mm-hmm. I would like to see more citizen – uh, involvement in in the local government at every level in our county, uh, and I'd like to see. Uh, well, I have a lot of complaints about the way money is spent uh, at the county level in particular, and I'm the only one who's really standing up and yelling mm-hmm. uh, this. We we have 175 thousand people in our county. Mm-hmm. We've got plenty of folks standing up, you know, uh, cheering for the spending of this, that, and, and other things, especially if it's if it's a quote the free money from from the state or the or the federal government. Uh, I sure would like to see some others doing the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, d- as long as folks think they can get away with things, and no one's looking over their shoulders, they'll they do will. they'll do things that maybe they might not if they knew that the citizenry were looking over their shoulders. And I know that you've you've mentioned to me many times you're not going to get reelected if the people don't trust you and don't mm-hmm. uh, trust in the decisions that you've made. I think Fruitport Township, maybe because of its history, but really has, uh, the citizens have, have really been hands-on. Mm-hmm. You're, you may be the most scrutinized uh, of all of the leaders of, of any of the governmental mm-hmm. bodies. I think that's good. Yeah, and I do too, and that's why uh, our records, our meetings, our everything are, is an open book. You come in, you want to see it, hey, I, I'm not going to make you for it. I'll get it out and I'll sit down and show it to you. Um, that's how we operate, and uh, I think that's the way it needs to be operated. We are a government of the people, and the people are our boss, and we should be able to provide them um, the information that they want, and, and it's our job to to invest and, and spend the money as wisely as uh, possible and to provide as much services to them as we can with the dollars that we're entrusted with. So, Well, that's an that's a enlightened, I believe, view. It's a view that I would like to see embraced across the board. All right. Well, we're going to take a break, and uh, we're going to be back. And like I said, we got a bunch of guests and a lot lots more of fun interesting stuff, stuff. Lots of fun stuff to talk about today. So uh, we're going to take a quick break, break and be right back. Hi, this is Brian Kilmeade, inviting you to listen to Kilmeade and Friends. I break down the biggest stories of the day in the news and tell you what I think. Plus, you get insight and perspective from my Fox friends like Steve. What's a lever action? What's a pump? What's an automatic? What's a bolt action? Hi, folks. I'm Tom Gresham, and I invite you to join me as we answer these and other questions on Gun Talk. Gun Talk is the only show out there about gun rights, collecting, personal defense, sport, and recreational shooting. And, of course, we never forget about safety on Gun Talk. It's Gun Talk, Sunday afternoons at 3 on News Talk 1090 WKBZ, the talk of Muskegon. A message from Orlando Bloom, Neo, Joel Madden, Lawrence Fishburne, Taya Leone, and Nicole Ritchie. They do not have to die, but they do. 24,000 children every day. They die for reasons we can prevent. Like not getting enough food or medicine or clean, safe water to drink. 24,000 children every day. But we are gaining ground. A generation ago, twice as many children were dying. Still. 24,000 every day? They don't have to die. They do not have to die. They don't have to die, but they do. They die because they are young and vulnerable. They die because through no fault of their own, they are poor. 24,000 children. 24,000 children. 24,000 children every day. My name is Taya Leone, and I believe. My name is Joel Madden. My name is Nicole Richie. My name is Neo, and I believe. My name is Lawrence Fishburne. My name is Orlando Bloom, and I believe that number should be zero. Believe in zero. Join the effort. Visit unicefusa.org. Car number seven is pulling into the pit. What's my winning diabetes plan? Start taking action now for diabetes. Medications. Got them. And my insulin supplies. Exercise. Most days. Blood sugar level. 
on target, diet, eating healthy, A1C under control. Managing diabetes, including controlling blood sugar, is a team effort that requires a plan that's right for you. For more information, visit standfordiabetes.org. A public service of TCOYD made possible with support from Sanofi Aventis U.S. We've got a special guest in the studio with us. Um, John's out today, and of course I got, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Jim Riley in the studio you with me You mean I'm today. not the special guest? You're not the special oh, guest. You good become, golly. You become the old standby guest. Oh, apparently. <laughs> but we do have a special guest Yeah, today. we do. Actually. Um, Mr. Sean Lawton, he is the choir director from Mona Shores and the acclaimed Singing Christmas Tree. <laughs> right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. Um <clears throat> my alma mater. Um, I was not in the choir program. Ouch! Though. You missed out on a great <laughs> Ouch. time. Ouch. I, I I was in Glee Club in ninth grade or in eighth grade, but uh, okay. I, I so didn't you were finish my the Rieger choir. years. I was good. Yeah. Uh, well, Fruport uh, likes to refer to him as Coach Rieger. Absolutely, and uh, a very uh, an excellent individual. Uh, sorely missed by by everyone from Mona Shores and Fruport. Um, yeah, I was in the Rieger years. And the mm. um, the old standby that he made every one of us sing, which was Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. Exactly. I, you did not sing for Coach Rieger and uh, not sing Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. <laughs> I mean, every concert. So he sent me fun. a lot of boys back in those days. Yeah. Um, but we're here to talk about you, this, and starting tonight. Correct. The, we open up tonight. The infamous singing Christmas tree. Oh, famous. No, not infamous. <laughs> we will be famous soon because we're going to be uh, featured on the Learning Channel, actually, really? on December 10th. Yeah, we're on a show called Extreme Christmas Trees. Oh, that, spectacular. That December cool. 10th, you say? December 10th at 10 o'clock. That TLC. is very cool. Yeah, so, so we'll, be, we'll be nationally known soon. Okay, now... It's about time. <laughs> from... From my history and knowledge of the singing Christmas tree, it's always prestigious to be the star. That is and true. And it isn't the star of the show. It's the star of the tree. We actually call it the angel. The angel. Yes. Who is, uh, who is the 2011 singing Christmas tree angel this year? The, the 2011 guy is Nick Kaberski. It's a... Guy this year, he's a senior in high school, also uh, played football for three years for Shores. Just an all-around great kid. Oh, that's great. I mean, that's that's quite an honor for a Mona Shore student. I mean, it, it, it probably doesn't...